the increase in the energy. So it is compressed by this much delta. So cross key area is given, right? Then the length is given, original length is given, okay? And uh, is compressed length by weight. Length wise by weight means uh, you know I have taken it like this, so I should have taken it like I should have drawn the diagram in dark. I have a boost to do that. Right. So this becomes delta M change. So here you have put a weight M. So compressed by a weight. So this weight is 5 kg. That is 5 into 10. Okay, and because of that, it is crushed by delta M. Okay, the increase in the energy, ha, huh? the increase in the energy here is this. How much? What is the one student said he has done it? What is the answer? Yes, so one student has got C. I don't know whether it is right. Please, others also do this. Yes, Did you integrate and do it? Yes, the formula is. Which formula you used? Which is half into stress into strain. Ah, good one. So, LRG stored is, LRG stored is half into stress into strain into volume. Yes. Correct? Right? You use this formula. You remember and you used. Hmm, good work. So, what is the stress here? So, stress will be 50 divided by area of cross section. Area of cross section 1 centimeter square. Right? And uh, strain uh, length should be length wise. That is why minus of So, they are not giving the strain value. So, you will write it as again it will be uh, uh, again you can write strain in terms of stress also. So, it will again be stress square divided by y. Yes. Isn't it? Okay, so yes. you can say stress is square divided by y. And y value they have given it as 1 into 10 to the power of 11. Okay? Okay. Into volume. So for volume, you can take it as 0.2 into 1 centimeter. So 0.2 into 1 centimeter square, 1 into 10 to the power of minus. Correct now? Hello? Hello? Hello, is it correct? What I have written? No answer. What have I written? Is it right or wrong? Which option did you get students? Yeah, option B. Option B or B. Okay. Alright. So we will get option B. Yes, these twos will go. Twos will go. Only 25 will remain. Right? And you will get. Yes. And by doing all that you will get, right? Because this is 10 to the power of 11. So even if you take here 1 10 to the power of 4. 
Can it can you do it like this? So it is like a rod suspended. Hmm. Not suspended. Not suspended. See here, it is compressed lengthwise by. Yes, it is. But will it be simply f square l by a y? Sir, so for suspended rod, we got. So you have to multiply it by half. That's what you are doing, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So two brilliant students have given two uh, different uh, this one. Now, Arun, you will tell me why you have you have to write it like this. Arun. Yes, ma'am. See, you think about an analogy which I gave you yesterday. Come on, everybody participate, man. Enjoy.
So you remember? This is analogous to what? See, the rod is going to behave like a the rod is going to behave like a spring, correct? So for a spring we used to write it as F is equal to K into delta X. Yes. Correct? So this will be the K equivalent of it. Yesterday specifically I have discussed this. Okay? And then if a spring is stretched, what is the energy? The energy will be half K X squared. This is what we have done, half k delta x squared. This is what we have done yesterday, right? Hello? Yes. Uh, then, see, why because, why will this happen? Come on, tell me, anybody come here, tell me. Why Adil, I mean, Aryan is wrong? See, you try to understand. Sir, the first when we apply here. Yeah. Huh? Sum of the force will go towards the compressing mixture and sum will be stored as potential energy. Sir. No, 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 you are hopelessly wrong. You are hopelessly wrong. Now, listen here. This is spring, you remember, we have studied spring in detail. Yes. Huh? Huh. Now, you see, if I apply force F here at one instant of time, I am applying force F1. Okay? I will apply force F1 for a time delta T, initial delta T, initial delta T. Okay. Then what happens as a consequence of this? That is, I will apply force for delta T. So as a consequence, what happens? This spring will expand by some delta X. Hello? Yes. Ha. Huh. Now, now that the spring has expanded, okay. Now, if you want to cause the same expansion, if you want to cause the same expansion, then uh, what happens if you apply the same force? Okay. Now, think like this. Hmm? So, what is the work done? Hmm? Say, so at some instant of time, the elongation of the spring is x. Huh? Elongation of the spring is x. You understood? Not the length of the spring. Elongation. That is, the original length of the spring is a L. And now the spring is elongated by L plus x. You got it? That's what I am writing. So, at that instance, at that instance, what is the force acting here? Say some force F is acting. And say it is in equilibrium. So, this must be equal to k into x. Correct? Hello? So work done is equal to, work done is equal to what? See, you have applied force F. At this instant, the force is F. Okay. And, and at this instant, the force is F. And if you, if you slightly pull it by a small incremental amount dx, then the incremental work done, incremental work done will be F into dx. Correct? Hello? Yes. Huh. So, the incremental work done will be F into dx at this instant. Are you following me? Yes. Huh. Now, what is F here? So, what is F here? F here becomes kx. Of course, I am not writing it. I am not writing in the vector form. It will be kx. kx yes. into dx. And now, if you want the total work, okay, then you have to integrate this. So, integrate this. So, if you integrate this, you will get the total work. And what is that total work you get here? Half k x. And this is precisely what we have been doing. Wherever you see, see here what you have to understand is the force itself depends upon what is the elongation. The restoring force is not constant. You see here, the restoring yes, force yes. kx is not constant. Hello, Aryan. Yes, 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 ah, so, what is stress yesterday? Stress are internal forces generated to oppose external deforming forces. So, in a way, they will act like restoring forces only because it won't yes. work, ah, isn't it? So, the same analogy with the spring can be used here. Yes. yes. I hope you all understood here because you see, mm -hmm. ah, you see the force. See, you are what is the mistake that you have done is this is the force that is applied, this force is constant. No, no, right? But 
the, what we have to see here is what is the uh, work done okay what is the energy stored energy stored what energy stored will be equal to the work done by the stress forces and the stress forces will depend upon the amount of elongation or the compression just like how the spring force will develop upon the amount of elongation or compression it is not a constant quantity yes correct it is not a constant quantity and see here what is the mistake that we have done see here when you wrote this equation when you wrote this equation hmm? so when you write this equation delta l is equal to what hmm? delta l is equal to you have written there f l by a y hello are you there yes sir ha now what you have to be careful is what is this f you are using in your formula see under equilibrium condition f denotes the external force and f also denotes the internal force correct yes yes, yes. at a particular particular instant the external force is equal to internal force stress force is equal to the external force at a particular instant okay ha huh. at the next instant at the next instant what happens at the next instant the external force will still be f but the internal force will not be f it will be f dash because the material has undergone deformation got it huh. so uh, left hand side you multiply it by uh, here you see left hand side you multiply you multiply it by f it is correct but right side you cannot multiply it by f you have to multiply it by you know integration of because the the other f that you are multiplying here the other f that you have to multiply here is not constant because these are internal forces so you have equated both as equal internal force will be will be equal to external force only at the equilibrium okay but other than that it is changing you got it so this is the nature of the material okay this is the nature of the material okay that is a mistake that you have done but it's a very genuine mistake see because of that mistake every one of us learned something very deep and we have understood stress much better than what we had understood earlier is it okay friends yes. so the concept here is extremely important so here you see there is a difference between the internal forces and the external forces although at equilibrium the magnitudes are same but the nature of the two forces are not the same that is very clear here yes. okay friends shall i proceed yes sir good so you see students see you participated you you did not simply say oh we got stress into strain into volume we got the result okay and fine we are happy mark uh, the option b and go ahead so if we keep doing like this then it is of no use but we have to do like this see that's why i asked you is there any other method of solving the problem ha huh, good many of you responded you started seeing many other ways of solving the problem and since you applied your mind you learned i also learned so all of us will learn this effort will get converted into knowledge and skill donkey work will not get converted into knowledge and skill so this is a very good example for that. okay yes i keep telling you you keep doing whatever you want ha huh. a weight is suspended in the way wire suddenly breaks its temperature this again a conceptual question to answer this question you go into the details of you know what is stress what is strain what happens in so you should now get into the material you should get into the material Come on, it's a good discussion you can have for this problem also. So, what will you do to answer this question? What are you all doing? Come on, tell me what are you doing? I'll help you to do better. Aryan, what are you doing? 
Sir, uh, sir, uh, I am doing like this. What are you doing? Sir, I am doing like this. You joined something there? Adil, huh, what are you doing? You didn't clearly tell me what you are doing. What you are exactly doing there to solve this problem? Sir, uh, I am thinking about like, during the process, sir. Ah. Before breaking cell, there will be some energy being stored in that wire uh, cell. Good. Right. So, the, the energy being stored uh, will uh, increase the temperature. Energy stored will increase the temperature. Why? Come on, tell correct. Huh? Yes. So, if it is breaking, means it has uh, crossed hooks limit and uh, it has gone beyond the elasticity, sir. Okay, so? No, sir, I am making an observation which might be helpful or No, no, it, I, okay, it is broken. What happened? What happens there? Okay, will the temperature rise, fall or remain same? Sir, I think the temperature will rise, sir. Why? Sir, uh, like You must tell the physics reason. Huh? Sir, practically means uh, all the plastic cards and everything which you have, sir. We, uh, I am like, I, at home sometimes I will be holding it again and again to try to break it, sir. Hmm. That part will have become bomb, so on basis of that. And also now it has crossed elastic limit, means, sir. Hmm. The uh, maximum force, uh, destroying force that is acting, has also reached its maximum. No. Beyond that, we are applying some force. Uh, what happens, man? You are you are trying to explain the graph there. Okay, use the right concept. Okay, fine. No, no, no. That, 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 Generating work done. See, it is suddenly energy. snapped. It is suddenly snapped. Where is the kinetic energy coming there? No, no, wait. You you have done your job. Wait. What about others? Do you want to say something? See, first of all, you see, there is something to do with the uh, temperature. Correct? There is something to do. So what is temperature? If a body's temperature has increased, means what has happened? Some heat energy has entered, then only temperature will increase. Okay? Ha. Huh. So heat energy has entered, right? Now, that means now there must be some energy which has got converted to heat energy. That's the only way. Okay, you are not providing any external force to do the work here. So whatever it is, you know, the spring has snapped and if at all the temperature has to change, that means the process should involve either absorption of heat energy or it should generate heat energy. It should either take the heat energy or it should generate the heat energy, right? And for to generate or to change the heat energy, well, there should be some other energy which gets converted. Correct? Now, this is the basic logic. Hello? This is the basic logic. Huh. Okay, now let's uh, think like this. That's the basic knowledge. Now, if you rub your hand, so it becomes warm. Why is it becoming warm? Ha, ah, because of friction. Correct, because of friction. Now, what exactly friction will do here? Why should your hand become warm? How friction is going to generate heat? Some work, being done. work is done. Work is done. Work that work done. You know you are doing work to overcome the friction. You are doing work to overcome the friction. Correct. So now you, the work, the for external force, okay, and will be equal to equal or less or greater than the frictional force. So there are two forces here. One is external force and one frictional force. External force is doing work. Okay, that is different. Frictional force is also doing work. Because the frictional force is doing work, you are getting the warmth, the temperature is rising. Correct now? Yes. Huh. So what is happening? What, what happens when you are rubbing your hand? How does this mechanical 
you know, this mechanical motion get converted into heat. So what is happening? Well, that is what you have to think. What is happening after all? What is there in my hand here? Molecules. What is there in my hand? Molecules. So when I bring them closer, what happens? Intermolecular forces increase. Correct now? Hello? Yes, there is electromagnetic forces created between the molecules of this hand and this hand. So they lock themselves. They interlock themselves. Okay? And when you rub it like this, this lock breaks. Correct? So, there is something like, you know, the, there is friction between the molecules. Hello? Yes, sir. Huh. So, there is something like this, which we can call it as some molecular friction. Because if you go at that level, it is molecular friction. Okay? Huh. Now, when, uh, when this is happening here, what is happening here? If you see the uh, wire, I am going to show the wire is thin, but I will show a larger cross section of the wire. So, the larger cross section of the wire, I will draw it like this. Okay, this is the wire. So, what is it consisting of? It is consisting of molecules. How many molecules? Billions of molecules. And each molecule is interlocking each other. Clear? Hello? Yes. Huh. So, when it is snapped, so when it is snapped, so what is going to happen when it is snapped? Okay, you see. So, this molecule which is entangling this molecule will be snapping. This molecule which is entangling this is snapping. Okay. So, therefore, you will see that there will be a fractured structure here. And what has happened here is, you know, at this boundary, the molecules of this end is have come out. And just like how your hand is, uh, you know, at friction, the molecules there will have some sort of friction. Okay. So, it is the molecular friction that. Uh, is responsible that that is precisely what happens there because it has snapped and because of this molecular friction the temperature rises precisely like how you know your hand does like this so that is how that happens? how it happens like from where the energy is whatever i was telling you are not listening there. okay see now if you take a thread if you take a thread so, this thread will have molecules. Okay, this will have molecules. So, now if you apply small force to this thread, what happens? Small force to this thread, what will happen? Nothing will happen. Nothing. Only tension will be developed. Only tension will be developed. Correct now? Yes. Huh. So, what is that? See, what is that happens here? So, the tension forces we show like this. What is that happening? So, this molecule now is already attracted by this molecule. See, there is intermolecular attraction between the molecules. Correct? Yes. And that is binding the molecules together? Yes. The molecules are bound because of the intermolecular forces. Correct? No? Yes. Huh. So, now here also, these molecules were bound to each other by intermolecular forces only. Just like how this thing is snapped. This one. Huh. But when it snaps suddenly, when it snaps suddenly, the molecules, they will detach. But when they detach, you see this molecule and this molecule, you know, they try to come out like this. Okay. And there you see they are snapping. Here this snapping phenomena, we call it as friction. See, in our hand, what is happening here? The molecules here, molecules here. Once you make the hand in contact with each other, see frictional force, when does it arise? Due to contact force, isn't it? So, when two bodies come in contact, then the contact force is doubled. Correct? And the normal, uh, you would split this contact force into two components. We call it as normal and the other horizontal component parallel to the surface, we call it as a frictional force. And why the frictional force? Because of the interlocking of the molecules of the two surfaces. And when they snap, they, they are going to run against each other and that is what we call it as friction. So, there is this, we term it as molecular friction. Okay? That's, that's the explanation. Okay, friends, fine. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, hmm. yes sir. I think you have a question. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. 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 Yes. Separate these two things. So, work done by frictional force. How do you account for it? Okay, mechanics we are showing friction by a vector. But if you go to the molecular level, what is happening? Molecules are interlocked and now 
you and now you you are pushing the, your hand like this so that interlocking is break, breaking okay see that is the molecular uh, that's the micro phenomena that is taking place what you see friction what we take in mechanics and do is a macro phenomena see that is precisely what you know you you all have to learn right see for example now temperature pressure volume these are all macro elements i think you know this right but pressure of a gas kinetic theory of gases you started with micro and went to macro understand so everywhere it is like that only everywhere it is like that okay not only here ha huh. so here also you need to go to the micro level and explain this now got it okay now it is 8:30 i think i should stop okay so we will continue